Hi friends, this is what I wear at school to stay safe, but I'm alone in my room right now and I can take it off for just a minute so I can read you this story. This is called Greta the Great Horned Owl, and I can only take my mask off when I'm the only person in the room, and just for a little bit. This is by Christy Goldberg, and this is the same author as Esther the Eaglet. And let's see, our big question today is what can keep you as focused as a great horned owl? So let's learn what do great horned owls focus on? Greta, the great horned owl, glides low over a field of grass. She listens for prey while her yellow eyes scan the landscape. Greta's favorite time to hunt is at twilight. The sunset gives everything a warm glow. Night is coming. And remember those yellow eyes she hunts during the day. A soft breeze blows across the field. Greta sees a small field mouse nibbling the seeds from a stalk of grass. Greta flies with silent wing strokes toward her prey. The mouse can't even hear her. She is hungry. Ooh, hunger can make somebody really focus. She doesn't hear the low chug chug of an engine or the loud thrum thrum of wheels on metal. Do you see that? There's a choo-choo train. Deer bound away and foxes scurry out of sight. But Greta glides forward low and fast with her eyes and ears fixed on the mouse. She has no idea what's coming. Owls can do that. Owls can get so focused when they're hunting that they don't notice other things around them. They only focus on their prey and their hunting. Bam! The train hits Greta and pushes her forward. She is moving with the train. Her legs and wings are trapped. She struggles but cannot get free. She is stuck against the front of the train. That would be very scary. The chug chug sound slows and then stops. The train is no longer moving. Greta is in a dark, quiet building. She pulls and tugs her wing and legs. She frees herself from the train and falls to the floor. When she tries to stand, her leg cannot hold her. Her wing hurts and she cannot fly. She sits on the hard ground as people watch. She is afraid. Now what's that place called where the trains go at night? I think she ended up there. I think she got stuck to the train and went all the way back with the train. Finally, a woman comes to help. She carefully lifts Greta off the floor and places her in a box. Greta feels so tired. She is taken to a building where people examine her. They stretch out her wings and legs for pictures. They touch and poke her, but they are gentle. And those are the actual photographs of when this happened to Greta. Do you see? This is another true story. Greta is moved into another location where a veterinarian can help her. The vet finds that Greta has lost blood from a broken leg. Greta's right wing is broken too. So here's an x-ray, which is a photograph of the bones. Can you see right here? There's the break. Okay, let's find that break in the arm. It's a little bit harder to find. There's a red arrow pointing it. It's right there. Poor Greta, that would really hurt. The vet gives Greta a shot and has her breathe special air that makes her sleepy. Then the vet works to fix the injuries. Greta wakes to find a metal bar on her leg and a tight cloth wrapped around her wing. She cannot move her leg or wing, but they hurt less. For the next few days, Greta rests. She sleeps and eats in a small crate. So you can see the metal bar on her leg. And you can see the surgery where the veterinarian did surgery on her. After a few weeks, the vet removes the bar from her leg and the wrapping from her wing. Workers move Greta outside. The warm sun and the cool wind feel so good. Greta tries to open her right wing. It won't stretch out. It feels wrong. The wing has a patagial knot, says the veterinarian. I think I said that word right. I might need to learn that word. This is an area of tightness. It can happen when a wing is not moved for a long time. So 
sorry, look at Miss Bush almost has great horned owl ear, like things sticking up. It's from wearing my face mask and face shield all day. My hair gets funny. Every day the vet rubs the knot and stretches Greta's wing wide open. The wing gets better and Greta is moved into a large pen. She flies from end to end. It feels wonderful. A large container is brought into her flight pen. It is filled with live mice. They rustle and scamper inside the container. Until now, the people have been feeding Greta dead mice. Greta's eyes focus and her talons twitch. She wants to hunt. Look at her. She wants to hunt. She's like the tiger of the owl. She really likes hunting. She waits for her favorite time. That's called twilight or sunset. At twilight, she takes off from her spot in the flight pen. Swooping low, she grabs a mouse. Delicious. The next day, the vet sees that Greta has eaten. She yells a happy hooray. Greta is placed in a crate and goes on a bumpy ride in the back of a car. The vet removes her from the crate. Greta's large eyes take in a wide green field and tall trees. Her heart begins to race. People watch and whisper as the vet throws Greta into the air. Greta flies up toward the sky. People cheer. And those are the real photos when Greta was released. Greta lands on a tree branch at the edge of the field. It is nearly twilight. And Greta, the great horned owl, is on the hunt again. And here at the back it says, why did Greta get hit by the train? When owls or other raptors focus on their prey, they do not notice what is going on around them. It is likely that Greta didn't see the train or hear its noise. So Greta stayed so focused on hunting that she didn't even hear a train and trains are loud. What if you could focus on your writing like that or your math or something else, maybe basketball, hockey? What are things that you can keep your focus on just like an owl focuses when it hunts?